Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I will be showing you guys how to make your own custom Vita Shell themes. So you guys want to do first is just go ahead and open up Vita Shell. We will need to connect our PS Vita to the PC to do this. So press select, go and connect it, and I will show you guys what to do next. So once you're on your computer, I will leave a link to GBA Temp in the description of this video. Now there's actually two links that we need to go to on this page. They are both mega links. One link is the software we will need to use to um, customize the text. And then the other link is to download some pre-made themes. Now we should download those because we can actually customize them and it just makes it a lot easier rather than having to create all your own images and stuff. So we're just going to open up both of these links right here. They're both mega links. And then simply we can just click download on both of them. Now once your files have finished downloading, what you guys want to do is go to your downloads folder and just find them in there. So what we're going to do is get the themes folder first, right click and just select extract to Vita shell themes. Once we've done that, we can actually delete the zip file. We do not need that anymore. Now get the Vita shell colors editor, right click and just select extract here. This is the program we use to edit all of the text colors and stuff like that. So first of all, double click on the themes folder. Now we're looking for a theme that we kind of like, um, you know, the general theme of, and what we can do is customize it from there. So just find one that you think looks quite nice. And um, there's a few on here. I know this one, I quite like um, the blue theme. I might get that and then make it a bit different, but just have a look through all of the themes, find one that you kind of like the look of, and then you can start customizing it. So I think I'm gonna go with the blue theme here. Now what I use is a program called paint.net because this is the easiest way to edit all of these icons and basically change them to whatever I want. So let's say you just want to change the battery icon. What you can do is right click and then do open with paint.net. Okay, so we can zoom in a bit down here, but at the top we want to go to adjustments, hue and saturation. Now you can draw on it or, you know, completely color it in, or you can just change the saturation. So maybe I want it to be kind of like green with like a red um, red lightning bolt like that I'll just click OK and then just click the cross and just click on save and that is it we've now got a modified battery icon now we also need to do this for all of the background images so it's a good idea to make all of these the same colors just so it looks kind of neater I mean you can make them all multicolored if you want it's entirely up to you but I like to have them the same colors just so the theme looks more professional so we're going to start with the audio player theme right click go on open with and let's select paint.net we're going to go to adjustments hue and saturation now we need to change it to a color that we kind of like the look of. I think for this one, maybe I'm going to go with like, I think let's kind of go with this like kind of green here. So this green ends up being minus 56. Now we need to copy this because we need to do this on all of the others. So we're just going to click on OK and just click on the cross and then just click on save. So we are going to do this to all of the other ones as well. So let's just open this one with paint.net. Go to adjustments, hue and saturation, and this time we're just going to paste in our saturation, click on OK, and now we can just save it. So do this to all of the backgrounds, and then I will be back once I've done it to all of them. All right guys, so I'm back and I have changed the colors of the dialogue, audio player, browser, hex editor, voter viewer, and the text editor. So basically these all must be the same color or you can do them different colors, but I just think it looks better. I've also put a Yoshi picture on the browser. If you didn't know, background browser is actually just like the main screen as soon as you open up Vita Shell. So if I just open this with paint.net, you can see I've just pasted an Yoshi on top. Not really the best quality, but it should look all right on our PS Vita. So I'm just going to make sure that is saved. Now, once you've kind of got your theme and you can pretty much customize it however you want. You can also customize the color of the text which appears um, kind of like on a list so you know you have your UXO and stuff like that. You can change the color of that text. So let's go back to our downloads folder. Next step is changing the color of the text. So what we're going to do is double click on the Vita Shell colors editor and it's just going to open like this. Next we need to click on open colors.txt file and now browse in your Vita Shell themes folder. Find the theme that we've been editing so mine was blue and then we need to click on colors.txt and just click on open. So this is going to come up with all of the colors that are currently working and we can actually change these. If we just click on set color, we can actually change it 
and then if you just click on OK, this is what it will look like on the menu. So you can actually pretty much change all of these colors. You can put them as anything you want. Obviously some of the colors might look a lot better than others. Some of them might come out looking a bit bad. You can see where the colors would look down here. So if you, um, these are menus as well by the way. So this is the text and then these are the menus. But once you've got the colors you want, all you have to do is just click on save colors to TXT file and now just click on OK. So yeah, you can customize these however you want, put in pretty much any color. Okay, so once this is saved, we can actually just close out of it and we can now actually copy across our theme to our PS Vita. So first of all, find your theme, mine was called Blue, and we actually want to rename it. So I'm just going to call mine something like Yoshi Theme. Yoshi Theme, just like that. And now just click Enter on our keyboard. Now we need to connect our PS Vita or just make sure it's connected. Okay, so let's just get our theme, right click and just copy it. Now you need to go onto your PS Vita, go into the Vita Shell folder, go into the theme folder, right click and paste. So that is literally it. Now we can go back onto our PS Vita, let's apply the theme and let's see what it looks like. Okay, so now we're back, we need to actually apply our custom theme. So we have to press start to open up this menu and where it says theme at the top, we need to scroll along using the D-pad and we need to find our themes. There it is, Yoshi theme. Then once you've got this, press start again. Then just press the home button and you want to completely close down Vita Shell. Now just tap on it and then just tap on start and launch it back up. And then hopefully your custom theme will be working. So as you can see, here is my Yoshi theme and it's working. I can enter stuff and you know edit text and stuff like that. Now I also made another theme. So if I press start again, I also made a haunter theme. So I'm just going to press start one more time. Let's just close it and re-enter it so I can show you my haunter theme. And then here it is. So that is pretty much it for this video. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.